Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest Old School. And at tonight's episode, I am here with... Foom, the Barbarian Warrior. And you are a level what? I'm level 13 now. And I'm a level 13 Shaman. You can see I am about two and a half bubbles, just a little bit under two and a half bubbles of experience into this level. And you can see he just killed that uh, Woolly Mammoth uh, calf, and I got just a slight bit more experience. So it is pretty good experience. If you're going to come out here, I would suggest picking and choosing your targets very carefully. There's some really high-level uh, mammoths out here that Tonda is uh, killing for experience at his level. And you may not want to mess with those. Now, those guys are, uh, at least uh, to me anyways, uh, indifferent. For you, if you're playing an evil class, there may be something to that. Uh, I doubt it, but you should be perfectly fine uh, avoiding so those guys. Let me ask you a question, AC. Why why are the woolly mammoths hostile and their their parents not? That doesn't seem that seems kind of strange to me. It is kind of strange, but I'm not going to complain too much about it because at the moment, if we had to fight the parents at the level that they're at, they would just wipe the floor with us, and that seems more traditional to where it used to be. Like in, in Neck Forest, there's like high level creatures kind of roaming around that will wipe the floor with you. You got to be very careful that you don't, uh, and the same thing over in uh, Everfrost Peaks, there's the uh, Vengeful Soloist walking around. And you were telling me that uh, you wanted to go back there and, uh, you know, kill them for revenge because they killed yeah. us so many times. Yeah, I killed one earlier tonight. He was even to me at level 12, so. But you were saying you saw some, more, some that, were level, th that were green to you. Yeah, there were some that were green to me at level 13, so not too high, to be honest. And I always heard that they were like level 35, but I guess that is wrong because we, uh, we were able to kill quite a few of them. And you can see, uh, you know, the, the shaman over there, he's killing the woolly mammoths that uh, are the big guys. And you can see there is a significant difference in their size. Uh, we got another calf coming over here. He's blue to me. Oh, okay. He's right he's over here. Oh, I see him. Yeah, he came right to us. Yeah, he came uh, <laughs> right to dinner. Mills on wheels. Yeah, there we go, guys. Uh, we're going to kill him, apparently. And it is kind of regretful that we're killing all these animals. But I never played a druid, so I don't have that innate, uh, you know, wanting to save the animals as much as Thune does, because he did play a druid back in the day. Yeah, most of the animals uh, on my druid are friendly to me. They uh, are amiable. I think these guys might be ami amiable too, because it's like all my other characters, all the animals that were hostile, hostile and would attack you on sight were, uh, loved my druid. And so I refused to kill them, even though uh, some of the best things you can do with the druid is kill it's charm and kill animals for really good experience, but I just refused to do it because it felt wrong to me. I mean, are you really going to charm something that's uh, friendly to you and then go kill another animal that's friendly to you? And then, uh, you know, but some people, it's just pixels. It's just, it's just data. And some people are like, hey, it's no big deal. It's, you know. No, my but, brother was the exact same way. He wouldn't do it uh, either, so. Yeah, I just, I refused to do it. I mean, they were friendly. Now, with your druid compared to your warrior, which one would you say that you prefer the most? Like, out of out of all the classes you've ever played, what what scale is your druid on to you? My druid is uh, number two out of all the I've ever played. The only the only character that I've ever played that is more fun than my druid was my necromancer. So my cleric probably third, but this warrior is really growing on me. He's a lot of fun, guys. It's such a if you're not pulling, if you're just tanking. It's such an easy class to play. Uh, you don't have to buy spells, which I really appreciate and love. Uh, and, and you know, and you can really beat the crap out of stuff. <laughs> and when you start, uh, when you start critically hitting stuff, uh, that that that's a lot of fun. That makes you feel really good when you hit a hit something for really high damage. Now, when he says it's really easy to play, he means at the level that we're at right now, because well, at yeah, higher yeah. levels, it gets a lot more difficult. Yeah, just tanking, just tanking. If you're pulling and tanking. Even at low levels, that adds a, a level of complication to it that might might prove quite difficult. So I'm not saying it's an easy class to play. I'm just saying that at this level, like AC Gamer said, and if you're just tanking and you've got a puller pulling the mobs to you, it's really not that difficult of a class to play. But when you're on raids and stuff like that, I'm sure the tank has a, a really hard job. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of things a tank can do. He has to turn the mob. He has to keep aggro on all the mobs that are there unless you have an enchanter. If you were still here tomorrow, I have a druid level 14. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, we would love to have you, man.
Do you feel like logging on tomorrow night? Uh, yeah, we could try. Uh, I have to check my schedule to make sure I got, you know, I'm gonna get off of work in time, but. Well, I won't be on until level nine. Uh, let, uh, to level nine? You're gonna, well, to, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna level in real life? Cool. Tell me how to do that one. <laughs> I'm still a novice. I haven't even figured out how to level yet. What's Druid's name? Okay, so he's gonna head out now. And Druids, in my opinion, are a great class, but they're very overlooked because they're not great at any one particular thing in general. I mean, they don't do enough damage to compare with Wizards or Necromancers. They don't do enough healing to compare with uh, Clerics. They don't tank very well. They don't... Uh, they, they don't do really anything so much so that people were like, I need you just for that one piece, that one reason. And until they, they get that one little thing that gives them that, uh, they're overlooked for a great deal of time. Now, they do a lot of things very well. You know, they do a fair bit of damage. They do a fair bit of healing. They do a fair bit of buffing. Uh, and they can teleport around very quickly uh, so that you can get there. Watch yourself here. Everything spawns here. Okay, yeah, we just got to... I got a uh, polar bear over here. Who happens to be level something. Uh, he's green, so don't know what level he is, but uh, he should be fairly easy to kill. Major Iceberg comes through here too. Uh, yeah, we might need to move. Yeah, might have to. And if this will give us a chance. This will give us a chance to kind of explore the zone a little bit, anyways, because we do want to run off and, and check uh, some more areas. But this is a really good spot to group. For those of you who may not be familiar with where we're at, if I go up this little hill right here, you'll be able to see some landmarks that you can use to kind of get uh, the bearings of where we're at. Let's kill this guy off. Wow, you killed that guy off before I killed mine. So you're doing Whoa. a lot more damage. But if we run up this little hill right here, you'll see over there in the distance is that tower. And that tower is right across uh, from the river, the ice uh, frozen river. And, you know, we're just kind of right over here. It's fairly easy to get to. Fairly good experience if you got, uh, you know, one or two people with you. Uh, you could probably do this by yourself, kind of like the shaman's doing. If you're that certain class, like a necro or shaman, uh, druids can solo quite well. And you were saying that you actually soloed really well with yours. Yeah, quad kiting. I mean, druids are, druids are great at solo. I mean, they're probably second only to necromancers. And necromancers can't quad kite. But now I take that back. I've heard that wizards can actually kill five mobs at once on this game. They can kite even better than druids, but uh, quad kiting with the druid, it can be very lucrative, guys. I mean, when I was doing it in Cobalt Scar, about one every three or four of the Wervens would drop a gem. So I was making a heck of a lot of cash doing that, so. And you have to de decide for yourself, do you want cash, do you want experience? Because there's very few mobs that you can fight in this game that give you both. Right, that's true, that's true. I mean. Uh, I was quad kiting the, the Wervens uh, when they were dark blue to me, and uh, killing four at a time, the experience was so great that they very quickly became green to me. So, uh, But I kept killing them because of those gems, and I made a lot of money that way. I think that making money that way, quad kiting Wervens was second only to the Hill Giants, because I would go into the uh, Wrath Mountains, and I would literally kill five, six, seven Hill Giants at once. I would root them, dot them, watch them die. So every every uh, hill giant that came close to me, I would just root it and kill it. So. And remember, when you're killing those those creatures, you may kill faster than they spawn. So there may be a long time in between. Even though you can do quad kiting and you can kill five, six, seven creatures at one time, you may still have to wait 20 or 30 minutes in between doing that again. Did I lose you? Oh yeah, you're uh, back here. Yeah. yeah, let me know you're pulling something. When we're running I around. Did. I did. See? Oh yeah, but I'm not looking at group chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, like I said, when I'm doing commentary, I'm very rarely ever looking at uh, guild chat or group chat. And I close my, my tells down just so that if you guys send me something, you don't have to worry, uh, you know, whether it's going to be private or not, if it's going to be put up all over the air. So I try to do that anyways. Occasionally I forget and I leave it open, but uh, right now it is closed. It's a little bugged right now. Actually, if I click it again, you'll see there's some, there's some stuff and I'll go ahead and close it again. It does that from time to time. Also, another bug that we've noticed is 
when somebody how do you says close something, it? how do you, what are you talking about closing it? How? You, well, you can minimize you it with a little uh, circle in the top left corner. You can minimize the window, and then you can maximize it again. Oh, okay. Well, okay. All right. I'd see, that's you know, I played this game four years before, and now I played it two weeks, and I never knew that. So you just taught me something that I had not known about this game. There's really no reason to do it other than you just don't want to show people what you're you're doing when you're recording, or if there's something right in the bottom of your screen, you don't feel like moving your hotbar, and you want to click on it, you can do that so you can get through it. Uh, can I get a soap, please? No, you cannot. He's blue to me. Nope, so can't I'm have gonna a soap. Please? You can have a sow. I, I would rather have a soap, please. No, nope, you get... Uh, <laughs> I do not want spirit of the pig. You gotta get spirit of the pig, <laughs> man. <laughs> and as spirit of the pig, you gotta remember, you gotta go oink, oink, oink as you move around. <laughs> <laughs> Squeal like a pig, boy. <laughs> <laughs> now I have absolutely no uh, idea where we are. I thought there was supposed really? to be a frozen river over here, but I guess maybe we passed it, or we didn't pass it. I don't know. He's got us lost, guys, again. I mean, I know how to get back to where we were, but uh, as far as like where we are on the map, it's been so long that uh, it's... All right, this is your loot. Nah, you loot it. Okay. And we will continue running this Ooh, direction. Oh, we got a head of cabbage. A head of cabbage, nice. Yeah, yeah it's a head of cabbage. So, uh, so I have another one in my group then. Nope. <laughs> it took him a while because he's ahead of cabbage. Don't talk about like that, dude. It took him a while. He's like, what? No, wait. There we go. Uh, um, here we go. Here's the frozen river. Now, oh, for those of you safe. who are not aware of this, you can run over this frozen river, and it counts as swimming. Like, you'll really raise up your skill just running up and down this uh, this frozen uh, lake. There is, however, supposed to be a, a hole in here somewhere that you can... In fact, I think we found it right here. But I'm, I'm not, not going to go down that. in there yet. Because no. I don't know how strong the current is. No. But if you go down into this water and you have enduring breath, there is a tunnel way, 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 way down that way. Yeah, in fact, we can run over there and show you. You'll oh, see that there are fish down it. here. There's fish down there in the bottom. So some of those are probably going to be uh, aggressive and probably will attack you. Can you caught them? Uh, I can't because you can't click through the, the water. You have to actually be underneath it. Oh, but I see that. I see, what is that? It's like a piranha That's or something. That's weird. That looks cool. But you got to remember, though, that a lot of the fish will say they're indifferent to you until you get in the water, and then they will change their tune and be aggressive. So <laughs> if you're looking at them while you're standing on the shore and you're like, oh, yeah, there's sharks out there, but they're not going to attack me, and then I'm you get in the there. Spider, brother. Yeah, you may have to worry about, oh, you got a snow leopard on you as well. Oh, okay. Well, he's he's green. I don't know why he... Spiders. Let me know if that woolly mammoth gets close. I just watched a movie on the Sci-Fi Channel the other day called Lava Lantula. Have you seen the previews for that? <laughs> what? They showed the previews for it, right? And they kept advertising that it's the cast and crew from the... Uh, in fact, there's another hole right here on the ground, so there's plenty of them that you can go into. I'm poisoned. But it's the, the cast and crew from... Uh, from, uh, what is it called? Uh, Police Academy. Right? Uh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, that would be cool to see what they look like after all these years because, you know, people change. They, they, Some people age very well. Some people don't quite age as, as yeah, well as others. Yeah, those guys were like 20 when I was 10. They yeah. They were like, uh, something like that. Uh. Yeah, and I watched all their movies uh, up to, I think, like three or four because after that they got so ridiculous. And they replaced pretty much the entire cast and, and went with other people. But this was supposed to be the original cast. and. So I was like, you know what, I'll check it out. And it looked like a, a cheesy uh, sci-fi movie, the, the kind of cheesy sci-fi movies you've been, you know, seeing lately, like the Croc Godzillas and, you know, Shark, Mega <laughs> Shark, stuff like that, just weird stuff like that. So I was like, you know what, I'll watch it. It ended up being just, I'm not going to do any spoilers for you, but it was only three of the cast from that movie. It was, uh, you know, the little girl who uh, spoke real softly. Yeah, the little black girl. Yeah. It, it was her, and then it was the guy who made all the noises with his mouth. Uh, I used to know his name. My, it's, it's, I think it's Michael something, but I could be very wrong about that. And then it was Mahoney, the main guy. Mahoney, wow. Now I want to see it because I was, I was a fan of I forget what his real name in life is. Uh, Steve Steve Gutenberg. You know, he yeah. actually he got pretty buff. Like he's not like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger or even uh, Vin Diesel buff, but he got in pretty good shape. You can see he was a lot bigger muscular wise than he was back in the day with the Police Academy, where he was just so skinny and that kind of. Uh, you know, he did Three Men and the Little Baby with that same look. So I remember that. I remember but that he looks different. Uh, the guy who makes the voices with his uh, with just his mouth. 
and all the noises and stuff. He looks pretty much the exact same, except just a little bit older. Yeah, he always looked really young. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, he was in a couple movies after that, and he always looked young. There's a goblin down there, too. Water is goblin. There? Yeah, you can kind of see it floating right there on the bottom, a little shadow. Oh, yeah, I see him. I wonder what level he is. And the, the girl with the very petite little voice that kind of didn't scream or talk very loud, she looks completely different, man. And not in a bad way or anything. She just, she, she changed, you know, and some people do. So it was interesting to watch that movie. And as far as the movie goes, if I had to rate it, uh, it depends on how you rate it. Like, if you know you're going in to watch a cheesy movie, and for me, who grew up in the 80s uh, watching movies, I like cheesy movies for the most part if I know that they're going to be cheesy. If I go into a movie expecting it to be awesome and I get a bunch of cheese, then I'll be kind of disappointed with it. But if I go in knowing it's going to be something, you know, silly and like uh, Slime Bowl, Balarama or something like that, then... Then I'm okay with it, and I knew this was going to be that case. So when I walked, when I watched it, uh, I would say it's probably about a six out of ten, maybe a seven, on the cheese factor, you know. <laughs> but was it so bad that it was good? Was it one of those movies, or it was, was it just terrible? No, no, it was it was bad that it was good, but it wasn't okay, it wasn't right. so bad that it was great. And some of those are so bad they're just like they're classic, you know, that they're so stupid, and they make no sense. But this one, it could have been better. It could have been better. In the cheese factor, uh, if you're gonna, if you want a movie that's so stupid that it's bad, then my suggestion would be to watch Sharknado's. Any oh, one of them. God. The second one has to be the <laughs> the worst out of all of them, and it was just. I understand they wanted to capitalize on the first one, and the first one was actually halfway decent in the cheese factor section, but as far as the second one goes, oh my god, it was so bad. And the third one was just like what. What did I just waste an hour? You know, <laughs> I can't get that hour back of my life. Oh God! Uh, if I had to, if I had to watch that movie again just to get that hour back of my life, I wouldn't. So I don't, I don't have any, <laughs> any uh, want or any desire to see that movie again. It's not like it was bad, but it wasn't good. And so, yeah, it's it's up to you whether you like those movies or not. But I grew up watching cheesy movies along with watching A-list movies, and I like both as long as they're done right you know and it, it, i think it's more interesting to me to see a person who made a movie that they thought was going to be a great story and a great acting and turned out to be cheesy than it is for me to watch a movie that they knew going in was going to be cheesy that to me usually is not nearly as good large rawhide boots do you have any boots uh, let me look uh i have rawhide boots ac4 what are those uh i linked them oh did you uh it's supposed to no, I didn't stop. I guess the link button's not friend. working. Uh, let me loot it. It says it's small, but they say large rawhide boots. So why would it be uh, size small? Well, they're. I think I'm wearing the same thing because they're AC4 and they're small size. So I don't know. I think they sell for a few gold, so, yeah, I, so I would definitely hold on to them. I can wear that. Uh, that's kind of weird that it would allow me to wear it, and I can wear the the orc wristband as well, even though it says it's small. It's two AC, so I might as well wear it. But it's negative two charisma. I don't think I would wear it because that would hurt your selling ability. Wow, these snow leopards like you, man. Yeah, they sure do. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if you if you remember to take it off when you sell, you should be perfectly fine. And a lot of people at higher levels will actually have suits of, uh, well, I won't say armor, but entire suits that they will put on and that increase. Dude, what kind of what kind of cologne are you wearing, dude? Okay, something's going on here. Well, it's called the the essence of snow leopard. <laughs> yeah, these green creatures are attacking you every time they get around you. That's weird. And uh, this rawhide belt that I just put on is three AC, and it's also categorized as small. And yet I'm able to wear that as well. So that that's not right. Like that should not be a thing. I don't know if it's bugged out. I don't want to take advantage of the game if it is, but. Uh, it could just be one of those things that was classic. Like I said, I just never hunted in the zone, so I don't know. Megan O'Reilly. Yeah, she's Maybe. hot, dude. I was gonna flirt with her, but I don't know. This is actually a good place for us to level, man. Some of these, um, some of these woolly mammoths are yellow. Yeah, the only thing you have to keep um, in mind is you're not in a dungeon, and since oh, there's an ice bone skeleton here. Watch out, he's even. He's right behind you. Right behind you. Right he's behind even, you. He's even you. He's, I'm gonna attack him. Uh, if he's, if he's even, if he's even, we're gonna we're gonna crush him. Uh, that's what she said last time, and it was only for the the saving grace of our uh, benefactor that we actually survived that one. So. Yeah, that that yellow ice bomb was kicking my butt, guys. Even with my with my good weapon, he was destroying me. So, but I have confidence in my healer. Well, I my told you I wasn't full power. I was only at forty percent. <laughs> oh, we're good though, dude. We're good. Yeah, you, got you say so. 
As long as we don't get any ads. Make sure we don't get any ads. Yeah, I got him down to 77 already. But as far as movie goes, uh, guys, I would love to hear some of your cheesy, uh, you know, B-rated movies that you watched back in the day. Maybe I haven't seen them all. I'm pretty sure I haven't. But I do love one from time to time. I do love watching movies. So if you guys have any suggestions for a really good movie, and I just tried healing the bone, uh, ice bone, so that was a waste of power. Nice. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, leave those down below. I know it's a little bit off topic for the video game that we're we're playing right now, but uh, from time to time, I like to uh, talk about uh, other things as well. And movies is something I'm very passionate about. Uh, food is another thing I'm very passionate about. But lately, uh, because I've been on you know my vegan thing. Uh, I don't normally talk about food anymore because I just can't have any of the stuff that I like. Wow, he just hits you so hard. You yeah, drop he's got a lot down. of hit points too, man. That's the only reason we're struggling against these guys because they have, literally, I've been hitting him for 20 almost every time, and he just has, he was soaking it up. I mean, we're going to kill him, but the ice bone skeletons are tough, guys. He's a warrior, I guess. Yeah. Because they do have yeah. classes. Every one of these creatures have a class, even if they don't seem like they are. And I don't think he's worth it. Like, the experience we get out of that guy no, no, compared that to the experience we get out of the woolly mammoths and how easy they are compared to this guy, like, the downtime is just a lot, lot higher. I will not be attacking any of those anymore. Now, I remember that over there. Um, what was the zone next to the burning woods with those worms? Uh, they had uh, so, Skyfire. Yeah, they had Skyfire. so many hit points that I remember I always stayed away from them just because it took so long to kill them. It wasn't worth it, even if you were in a group. The amount of power and time that you would waste killing those guys versus killing the uh, the flying, uh, what were the other guys called? It's been so long since I've oh, been the there. Oh, fairy, the uh, fairy drakes or, or yeah, chromatic, the, chromatic the, drakes, I think. Yeah, yeah. The drakes. And then you had the bottom feeder, the, the bottomless devourers. And those and guys. Just, yeah, they look like sperms with jaws. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, uh. it's pretty much the only way to describe it, guys. I hate to kind of uh. use that description, but when we go there and show you, you're going to be like, yep, that's yeah. exactly how I would have <laughs> described it. Yeah. It's, it. Whoever designed those things, you, I don't know what they were watching on the Discovery Channel, but uh, yeah, that's exactly what they look like. And in other zones, uh, you'll look at some of these creatures and you're like, what in the world were you thinking when you designed that? That's definitely one of them. But I used to fear kite the, the worms in Skyfire with my uh, Necromancer. Just too many hit points. Like, why would you waste your time with those guys? Uh, the, the, I never used that much mana, dude. Plus, I had uh, I had Lich, and I had my Lich line, and and uh, I would be Liching, and I would be fearing, and they would be uh, my my pet would be eating it alive. So, uh, I mean, I would use my uh, rogue pet, and he would backstab, and as long as I kept it feared, my pet would uh, destroy it. It did take a little while. I think it took me like maybe 15 to 20 minutes. That's exactly what I was going to say. Even if it's yeah. not the power, it's the time. Yeah. The amount of time it takes you to kill one guy 15, was, 20 minutes. It was minutes. worth it because they would drop spells that I could sell for quite a bit of money. And uh, they were decent experience even though they took a long time. Yeah, but not nearly as much experience as you could make killing the other guys, I think. Uh, at least in no, my opinion, anyways. I mean, they, they were tougher than... But I, I, I enjoyed the challenge because usually you would see groups out there trying to kill them. So Sometimes it I mean always, it, it always made me feel good. Do you want to kill some more woolly mammoths? Uh, we can. Let's let's go down this way and just uh, explore a little right. bit more. Cause uh, yeah. you know I tried exploring once by I myself. I haven't leveled and up my swimming on this ice once, dude. I think yeah, somebody's telling us a story. No, no, I've yeah. actually seen it go up uh, as you run over. Now swimming does not go up very quickly, and a lot it of people doesn't. will find a, a, a nice little corner in a pond somewhere. Make sure their character is set that they're not going to drown. Watch them for another, you know, 10 or 15 minutes while they're swimming into a corner. Put the numlocks key on, which is your auto run, and, and just, just walk, walk away. away. <laughs> and come back, like, 40 hours later and find that you went up, like, three points. And, of course, I'm exaggerating there a little bit. It isn't that slow, but it is pretty slow. If you come back 12 hours later, you should be, from, like, level one on your skill, pretty close to being maxed out. After I used hours. to I used to keep my um I, there was this place in Nariac and I, I used to always kind of make dark elves for most of my classes. Let's stay with And there was this guy. little place and I would put him in a corner and he would swim and then I'd just leave my computer on all night. Nobody puts baby and, in a corner. <laughs> oh, that's a yellow orc. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, stay away from that guy, He's shaman. We do not need to. Where'd be, you go? Uh, up the wall. Oh, okay. Oh, I see you there now. You but yeah, uh, find a nice little corner. I don't know if that's against the rules, but that is definitely classic. Like everybody did that back in the day, because there's only so many places in this in this game that have water. And 
I, if I kind of remember right, I think there's only two zones that even come to mind that are underwater. One is Catch Keep that is fully underwater, and then there's another one over there, uh, and actually over there, that you swim out to, and you swim down into the water, you zone into the zone while you're still in the water, and the moment you come out, you can go up, and now you're in uh, you know, an actual zone with air, and you don't need your enduring breath anymore, so... Uh, this is kind of a cool little area. What's over Whoa, here? Oh, check this out. Look at the tower. Yeah, it's glowing and stuff. Oh, uh, uh, no. Check it out. It, it has my face when I was a baby. Baby! <laughs> what kind That's of face so is that? Look at that. <laughs> that, that definitely looks like a mask of a baby. Like when you go to the Renaissance Festival and you can stick your hand in that wax. Now, if I was the developers, I would have put two hostile mobs right in these corners where nobody could see them. <laughs> and as soon as we walked in, we would have got trashed right then. Oh, my God. If I was the developer, I would have hidden <laughs> floors everywhere and mobs oh. just jumping out and little traps slicing people in half. It might, nobody would want to play my game. It would be too difficult. <laughs> I'd be very, very sadistic with uh, which is the making. Because I grew up in the days where people like to explore. And when you explored, you were rewarded or you were punished. You know, you got both of them. You had to risk the death. You had to risk all the the, the stuff you could lose to Ooh. go off and explore. This does look okay, kind of cool. Be, be careful. This is where the ice shines are. Is it? Be, yeah, be very, very careful. We're hunting Ooh, for rats. there is right there. Yeah, check yeah, it out. You can kind of no. see them. I love ice these giant. guys, man. They always drop fine still. still. Nobody's hunting them right now. I'm really surprised. Oh, yeah, somebody is hunting them. Now remember guys, if you get too close to the wall, sometimes these mobs do see through the wall and will aggro to you. So you do not want to get close to the wall just because they can't see you. Uh, is somebody hunting him? Yep. Oh, I'll check that Bond out. Him. And he's casting all sorts of pretty lights. Pretty, pretty, pretty lights. Oh, and he's dropped some stuff on the ground and maybe find still that he just doesn't have room for. Did he kill it? He sure did. So let's see what's on the ground here, guys. Ooh. Ivory. Ebony and I. There we go. We're going to pick that up. I think that sells for a decent amount of money. And I don't really want to go off exploring too much because we can yeah. repop at any moment. And I think it would only take about one kill or one hit for us to just get smashed. Now, when you start seeing these guys, you know you've gone too far. You kind of want to turn around. Ooh, ooh, thank you. What do you give you? Uh, a uh, fine steel mace. See, so he's over here hunting these things, and they drop those. In fact, while we're over here, I am going to toss him a, a so. What level he's is gone. he? Oh, he's a mystic. He's grovelin. Yeah. No, he's an oracle. Oh, he's a shaman anyway. So we're gonna leave that alone. He has now, far a, better spells. There's a zone around here somewhere with oh goblins in it. I think it's through there. But I think we could we could probably go in there and do pretty well. Uh, in I there? Look at my book. Yeah. I don't yeah, think so. I mean, if there's high level guys guarding the entrance to the zone, then chances are the zone's going to be even higher level guys or equal to those levels. And it kind of does that on purpose. It doesn't want you to get too far into an area that's going to be too difficult for you to get out of. So they I've give you a there. little warning. I've been in there, and there's a. I think they start off as. Um, I see. I, I have a. Um, I have a book. I'll have to look it up later, brother. But. Uh, I've been in there with my druid at, at lower levels, so I, the ice giants, you just have to sneak by them. Well, and usually when there's people kill them, you can just run by them, so, um, but uh, it's too dangerous for us to go check out. There's but. a zone right over here. Maybe this is the zone you're looking for. Oh, this might be it. This might be it. These are not the droids you're looking for. Let's go in here. This is pretty cool. This kind of looks like Befallen, except uh, an ice this version. Is it. Yeah, this is it. This is the back part of the castle. Nice. And the goblins in here are lower level than uh, the ice giants. But they might be too high level for us. But I'm going to go in and look at it because I think that we can zone in safely and uh, check it out. And this is exactly how it was back in the day, guys. You would just go off exploring and you'd be like, oh, what is this tunnel? Let's go in there and check it out. You'd zone in. you see like really high level mobs and you'd be like, okay, let's leave. Yeah. <laughs> let's get out of here. But <laughs> you had that sense of exploration. You had that sense of, oh, we just found a new zone. And then you'd be like in your guild chat, has anybody ever been to this zone? And people were like, no, where is that? And you would tell them where it was, and all of a sudden you'd have like 15, 20 people in the zone exploring it with you. And <laughs> it was a great feeling because there was no, you know, internet to let everybody know exactly where things were. So I do like that sensation. But I don't know if you could ever get that back because now the moment something comes out, there's a gazillion videos and a gazillion websites all talking about every aspect of it and letting you know every secret there is. There's really no unknown left in uh, in video games or 
in any topic that is very uh, you know popular that people are actually doing. So uh, now, this is a heck of a run, dude. Yeah, but if you look to your right, that's where those goblins are. <laughs> hey, there's the giants. And then we can bypass them and go over here to the left, mm -hmm. and that will allow us to enter the zone. The same way when you're exiting, if you don't want to run by those mobs, remember. Mobs do not lose interest in you, no matter how far you run, and to use zone. So, even if you have so on or Spirit of the Wolf or Sow, you can run past them, but they're going to keep running after you, and there's a chance that you could train other players by those mobs. And so, just going that long path out to the side, if you're not going to kill those creatures, is sometimes the best method. I don't think we can hunt in here, though, to be honest. Uh, well, uh, oh, he's. Well, what level is he? Oh, he's even to me. Is he? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and give it a try. Yeah, I'm only, I'm only at 30% uh, power, but uh, I think we'll see. The ads, I think the ads in here are really bad, guy. So uh, maybe we can kill a few at the entrance, but I think uh, uh, if we go further in, we, we wouldn't do very well. And if this guy's even to us, further in, they're going to be yellow and red. So. Now, there's a couple of level 60s in here. There's a couple, actually, there's 158, yeah, 29, I know this, I actually know this zone pretty well but from live. If you go further in, you can fight a, you can fight wizard ice giants really high level ice giants and there's a dragon in here i forget her name i think it might be vishon uh, but, fox, uh, you mean? uh, uh is it fox lady Vox? yeah i think yeah. it might be but i'm not sure guys don't quote me on that no you're right because uh, naggy's over in lava storm don't don't zone in wait for him to come back out and they can walk through the zone line you cannot so if you follow them in uh you will zone and lose all that it, the experience that you were going to get they go back to their spawn point, and what did he drop? Ice Goblin Blood. That's kind of interesting. Mm, tasty. What is this? Somebody's corpse. Oh, uh, uh, see? Uh, this is where he gets hairy. I'm not sure I want to go for them. Well, um, I know this pool right here. There might be somebody in here killing them, though. Because I don't see any of them, and usually there's one right here. So be very careful. Remember where the zone line is. See, wait, I hear wait, wait. You're very low on power let me, or life. Let me give you a little heal. Yeah, let's go over here and and get full. Let's let you met up too, because if we're going to try this, let's make sure we're strong enough to do so. Yeah, and I think we're actually going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys, and we'll start the episode up here on the next one where we go off exploring. We don't know uh, if it's going to be a long one, because uh, we may end up uh, deciding to leave this area rather quickly, but we'll give it a try. And again, guys, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that uh, like button, that subscribe. Definitely helps grow my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure to leave comments down below. We do love hearing back from you guys on what you think of the episodes, if there's a certain zone you want to go to, or if you liked uh, discussing any of the topics that we kind of go over, we do like hearing that as well. So again, guys, thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time. Subscribe.